Hi everyone, welcome to our kit release for our Sunflower Cottage collection. This is a beautiful collection with the contrast of the white, the black and the yellow. It is just fabulous. Like as you probably have seen, if you haven't seen everything yet, I'll show it to you at the end, our inspiration layout and card. But you'll see throughout the kit, there are so many elements that just make it pop. It makes you feel summer, it makes you feel like invigorated and it gives you, just puts a smile on your face just with the color combination that's in this. So for those of you that are new to us, our complete collection is our bundled Sunflower Cottage. And when you purchase it as the bundled, you do save 20% versus purchasing each of these five items individually. And by buying it in the bundle, you get all five of these items, which there are no duplicates in. You get our FQB, which is our papers and elements pack. You get our Sunflower Cottage 2, which is our additional papers pack, our Sunflower Cottage Alpha, our Sunflower Cottage Solids, which is again an additional solid paper pack, and our Little Bits, which is a finished clustered uh, additional elements pack in order to coordinate with everything. So let's go in and find out and see what everything has to offer here so you can see more of what I'm saying. The papers, like the contrast in them, obviously this is very pretty and light, but look at the contrast. And you'll see this as we go through, the elements just pop on these pages. It just makes such stunning results when you use your creations with this. Whether it's cards, layouts, mini albums, whatever you get, it is going to be fabulous. And here is a great cottage siding background. Imagine starting with that. This is all about just living out in the outdoors and enjoying all those pretty things that summer offers us. As well as that sunshiny, you know that perfect day where it's no wind out, it's the perfect temperature, it's not too hot, it's not too cool, there's not bugs out to bother you, it's just that. Here's a beautiful one with doilies around each of them. So if you wanted to lean a little more towards the shabby chic or cottage chic style, you have that option in this kit. There's many, many ways that you can go with this. And as you can see with the patterns in here, you have great pattern papers as well as great other ones like plaids more simple ones in order to pair together so that you don't end up with a really busy looking layout or, or card or, or mini album, but you have lots. Same thing with the polka dots. There's a lot of you that have voiced you love the polka dots. They're a perfect pairing to so many of the other more elaborate papers such as these, like the stationary papers. Beautifully done. Mary Fran has done the clustering. It's already shadowed in there. It's got, you probably can't see it on this one. Let's go to the next color. You can see the swirls in here. Uh, very, you can lean towards that elegant. Imagine if these were colors for your wedding, uh, if it was for a party that you were hosting, if it was for summer photos out in your garden, out in your yard, uh, whatever. If you went on a vacation and you toured a beautiful flower garden, which there are many across the world, um, you know, there's so many things that you can do with this kit. Just a simple summary feel to it. And again, another gorgeous background with all the wording on it, the beautiful cluster of sunflowers in there, the white background to it, as well as some other colors. This one I had to use. This is one I used in my card making uh, inspiration that we'll show a little bit later here in the video. It, it just drew me in, right? I love the contrast of it. Same thing in the gray. It gives you the great contrast but not quite as strong, a beautiful, beautiful look. The greens are so lovely as well. Doesn't that just evoke freshness and the feel of after a rain and all your plants perk up and you have that great feel in there? The bright yellowy, sunshiny yellow, just, just beautiful. I'm hoping that you're seeing some creative ideas already as we're just flipping through the background papers here. And here's some twalls. The twalls are great papers to add that that little hint of, of elegance and feel and and um, a little more refinement to your to your creations. They're just great papers to use in that. And as you can see, there's brighter ones depending on whether you want something that shows a little bit more, is a little more muted like this. You've got many, many options here with the background papers and there's lots of them. Our elements begin with the butterflies. Again, Mary Fran does such a great job with covering them with the paper, already layered together, great detail in everything. It really makes it so much easy for easy for all of us to create with. And I know doing my card, it, you know, I was able to whip that together in like 10, 15 minutes. It was just so easy to create with. The buttons are great as well, as well as here's some, we're getting into some clusters. A friendship one, again, a great idea. 
Use these elements that you love when you're creating, a, <clears throat> not telling you what to do, just giving you some options here. But when you see an element that you love, I usually take that and start with it. I put it on my, pay, my blank sheet. I know I wanna use this somehow, some way. It gives you the inspiration and gives you the build for, okay, I can see I can go in that black, but I can also tie in some green in here. It gives you some options as to, to how to start building in case you're having a little bit of creative block. The summer bags, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Doesn't that remind you of going to the beach or outside maybe using the bag to pick some of the bounty of flowers to bring them indoors and give that feeling all over that, whether it's you don't have to be out just outdoors to enjoy it. Uh, floral corners, great ones to use to place in on some of the simpler backs. If you want to make them a little more elaborate, you have this option with these. Same thing to add to photos where you can layer these over top of your photo. Uh, another great option as to how to use the floral corners. Again, just simple flower clusters so you can build it any way you want. Here's a good example of a frame. We like to include the frames for A, number one for photos, because this is opaque behind it, so you can actually just slide a photo right in there and then print it right as one. Or, um, to create digitally, obviously, you can slide that photo right in there. There is no color here. But as well, you can elaborate by adding in a flower cluster here or one of the floral corners and make that frame a little more elaborate if you'd like. Here's someone that Mary Fran have already done for you so that that way you can just quickly move on and create very easily. But we want to give you these plain ones so that you have full creative control and creative freedom in there. Some journal labels. Obviously, there is photos or there is a feeling to your card or mini album, a meaning. We want to give you these so that you can personalize them and make them exactly what you wanted. That is the whole lovely part of creating is you make it just the way you want it. Here's blank journal tags. Obviously, you can write in whatever words, phrases, names, dates, whatever it is that you want. And again, we know that English is not everybody's primary language of all of our customers that we deal with. So we want to give you that option so you can fill it in with the words in your language because obviously we can't cover every single base and every single thing that people want to say. Fabulous labels. Again, this drew me in as soon as I saw it. I knew I wanted to use this, so I placed that right on my blank piece of paper so that, that way I could start creating with this and we'll see how that turned out later on in the video. Uh, again, a, a beautiful saying, this time in French, adds a little bit of, you know, for those of us that aren't French, adds a little bit of uh, a refinement and elegance, you know, to it. Farm fresh sunflowers, again, a roadside stand, uh, a flower market, maybe you go to the farmer's markets, beautiful things in order to incorporate in. Sunflower, wherever life plants you, bloom with grace. Beautiful sayings, really well done font work, so easy to just place into your creation and have a great look. Ribbons, great to use. If you don't use ribbons right now, here's your chance. Ribbons are fabulous to add a little hit of color. And again, I'll show you how I used uh, this one in my card making idea. They add that little bit of um, punch or a little bit of color to a, uh, maybe a bland area or to draw something, some other color in. A wonderful sentiment card in order to tuck into your card or maybe to tuck into your mini album or add to your uh, layout as a, something you wanted to say. This is what we're saying is be bright, be sunny, be positive. You know, that this is the feeling that you're trying to evoke. Here's a perfect sentiment card to add in there. Sunflowers, we have them in individuals because again, we want to give you that full creative ability in order to, to do whatever you want with and how to pair it together. Beautiful sun hats in order to add in. Again, we said it's a very summery, summery feel, very fresh feel. Same thing with the watering cans. Very fresh, bringing that in from the outside. And we're back at the, at the background, so that is what is included in our FQB. Our little bits, again, the little bits, the idea behind them is to give you more coordinated elements, but these ones are fully done clustered. So if you're having a bit of creative block, the little bits is the perfect place to start. This gives you a feel, this gives you a look, a feeling, a thought, uh, whatever, in order to start with. Uh, use them however you see fit, but they are a great starting point. And as well, the labels that are included in them hopefully give you some ideas and as well as hopefully pairs really well with what you're trying to say, where you can just simply place that in and it evokes exactly what you were trying to, to get across in your creation. Just beautifully done. Mary Fran takes all the work out of it 
so that that way of the create that intricate kind of grunt work if we want to call it creating where you can just then go ahead and create your layouts mini albums and cards by placing these in beautifully done look at how well that pops off the page you are my sunshine Mary Fran really is so good at it and it helps so much when we go to, to create ourselves we can then just do the fun part of the creating our cottage are the background papers and again you've seen these patterns before but not in these colors that is the additional paper pack in our two that's what we want to do we know if you love this collection you're going to want to create many many things with this and we want to give you the options of having the exact color palette that paper in the exact color you wanted it and to be able to create multiple items without them looking all the same the solids the solids Mary Fran went a little more elaborate with this time she kind of put a bit of a damask type pattern in there so that it, it has a very interesting look to it now imagine again if you want more creative control take this black one use the flower corner clusters or the flower clusters of the of the sunflowers maybe tuck a hat in here maybe the sentiment card you can see how easily you can build with these solid papers now as well if you just wanted something to back your photo with or to back a main element with what a wonderful thing that you have the exact color match in these solid papers so everything blends seamlessly in your creation lastly is our alpha which obviously blends very well it Mary Fran used the twall in the black so it's me a little bit muted but gives it such interest this alpha is gonna let you have names dates titles feelings whatever it is that you're trying to convey in your creation you're gonna be able to uh, use these use this alpha in order to really highlight it because you can spell those words names dates or titles out uh, and really uh, showcase that thing so that it's it's quite obvious what it what you're trying to say and the feeling you're trying to get across and that folks is our entire sunflower cottage collection now to give you a little creative inspiration if you hasn't haven't seen it yet our layout this just gives you an idea it draws upon how can I put this stuff together in order to make something pretty you're welcome to take our layout uh, and and look at it copy it copy parts of it maybe you like the the twall white back and you like the the background back here and the little front friendship cluster but you wanted to do something different over here it's use it in parts and pieces as as copy it in parts and pieces or use it in its entirety if you loved it uh, personalize it yourself with your own words on there and here again just down to the lower part you'll see how Mary Fran used the ribbons see how nice they add into a little dead spot they add a little color and a little punch they, because they have the pinking sheer ends on them they add a little bit of texture and interest so that gives you an idea and as well as the button you can see the button that Mary Fran put in there those are those elements that you may have passed by thinking well I'm not sure what to do with these that's how you can use them and here's the card making idea for those of you who like to make cards here is some inspiration for you as well here is that green and white ribbon at the bottom of the card like I said I wanted to grab some green in order to add in a little bit more green into this in order to give it that fresh feel and there is that main element like I said that I placed on you fill my heart with sunshine I knew I had to use it so these three uh, uh, sunflowers in the background are actually the three individual sunflowers included in the kit so you'll see how I built this and these on the side here are the clusters the corner clusters so that gives you an idea of how I utilize those elements in order to build this card well thanks so much for tuning into our video for taking a look at this kit and I hope that now you'll take a stop by our store and pick this kit up for yourself if you are creating something summery and you want that fresh vibrant feel this is the kit like I said you have many options you can have it a little more whimsical you can have it a little more elegant you can have all kinds of different ways that you can go with this kit but you will get that beautiful contrast between the black white and yellow and you will also get such wonderful items to create with thanks again for tuning into our video but before you leave you'll see down in the right hand corner of your screen you'll see our knitwit collections logo please click on that to subscribe to our channel so you'll be made aware 
every time new videos come out you'll see on your left hand side of your YouTube that you'll see our, our Nitwit Collections name and every time a new video comes out you'll see a one or a two or whatever how many videos new are out so you can click on that and be and that's your notification to let you know that we do have new things for you to view as well leave us a comment give us a thumbs up on this if you liked it leave us a comment and let us know your thoughts on the kit maybe what you're gonna create with it anything that you you know if you have a question on it or I went by something too quickly and you wanted to wanted to, to ask a question about it feel free to we're happy to answer thanks again for tuning in and happy creating with the sunflower cottage collection